to four. I had an argument with him about to fight him because he was trying to sell me a CD in 2004. You know what I mean? The Getty gas station on Pennsylvania and Flatlands. You know what I mean? So, like, I respect his ground, but he's a lie. He's a pathological lie, and I can't fathom that. When you get on radio and you say shit like, you know, I bought New York City back with what record? You didn't, you haven't had a record yet. It's like, he did your style, your style came out, and then he had, um... Um, what was the, um, then they got Diddy and Mace on it. It didn't do nothing after that. It died more after they put Diddy and Mace on it. And then they had, um, oh, getting what's going on? This is Legend of All About the Kiss. Subscribe to the channel. Put a like on the button. And don't forget to show some love to my, me. And if you want some merch, it will be under the description. Man, show your boy some love. If you buy some merch, I'm going to put you, shot you on my next video, man. I want to talk about this dude, man. He'd been in jail for like three and a half years, almost four years, be next year. Um, this dude took the podcast business to the next level. He said what the fuck was on his mind, and that's what was, that was it. You didn't see too many podcasters like him that said what was on his mind, and he didn't give a fuck what you think, and don't give a fuck what you say. If you say anything, he'll smack you or give you the gun, clap, clap in your fucking face. All right. You see a lot of rappers now with all these podcasters and shit. Hey, buddy. Like, certain niggas shouldn't be having a podcast. Nicki Minaj... Definitely got the energy to have a podcast. Lil Wayne, he's smooth with it. Nori, he's cool with it. Um, the rest of y'all niggas, give it up, you garbage. Um, I never watched T.I. shit. I think T.I. got the opportunity to, to the podcast could be dope. But everybody got a podcast. Troy Ab, I haven't seen his podcast yet. But um, a lot of niggas shouldn't be having a podcast. A lot of y'all niggas is fat, corny. Fat Joe got a good podcast. I watch his shit. But a lot of niggas, I like y'all as rappers, not as podcasters. I guess the money getting real light for a few of y'all niggas. So now you try to do the podcast shit. But anyway, besides all that shit, we gonna talk about this nigga because he got to get his flowers now because he might be doing life in jail, um, tempted murder. He already took charges for the guns already. Um, we talk about my boy, Tat Stone. Now, a lot of y'all niggas, if you understand what I'm talking about, Tat Stone... Tat season was dope as fuck. He had Meek Mills on that shit. They ride into me back. Talking about bullshit, this and that. It was a dope interview. He let he did the Beans video. Beans was talking about Meek Mills too. He just shut his mouth and let Beans do all the talking. You know what I'm saying? He did the Joe Button one. Joe Button was beating up women at the time. Joe Button didn't want to answer questions. He kicked that nigga out like he was Martin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he had more dope interviews. He had the flag TV shit. He blew up on that shit. He said what he had to say on that shit. You know what I'm saying? The dude was funny as fuck. He was a bully. He was a beat up people. He got shot in the eye. You know what I'm saying? He stabbed niggas. He did everything. You know what I'm saying? And him and Troy Ave had a beef. And a lot of people don't, I mean, a lot of people don't really like Troy Ave. They think he's too cocky. But on the rap game, you gotta be fucking cocky. Back in the 90s, every rapper was cocky. Jay-Z was cocky. T Tupac was cocky. Biggie was cocky. Everybody was cocky. You had to be. You had to be cocky in your own lane. If you feel like you was the best rapper, you had to feel like you was the best rapper. You know what I'm saying? And they was the best rappers. A lot of these rappers out here now, they ain't the best. They think they're the best. All this money you got getting now is not going to last forever. You got to have songs that's going to hit forever. So now, me, what I have more kids and kids and my kids, songs that you be like, damn, this 30 years ago. They still playing this shit. Like Tupac, you always gonna hear a Tupac song. Doesn't matter what song it is. Or Biggie, you always gonna hear a Biggie song for 30 years from now, 40 years from now, 54 years from now. Jay-Z, you gonna hear his songs forever. Nas, you're gonna hear his songs forever. J. Cole, you're gonna hear his songs forever. King Kendrick, Big Sean, Kanye. All them people I just named right there, you gonna hear their songs. That's like hearing Marvin Gaye, Micah Jackson, Prince, um, Stevie Wonder, um, The Temptations, um, all them dudes you hear, Key Sweat, Johnny Gill, New Edition, Babyface, Boys to Men. You gonna hear them songs forever. TLC, Salt and Pepper. These niggas out here rapping, you're not gonna hear these niggas songs 20, 30 years from now. But the podcast thing is really blowing up. Don't get me wrong. Everybody's doing it. The sneaker game is doing it. The rap is doing it. The rap been doing it, but the sneaker game is doing it now. And some people just should not be doing podcasting. And I'm not saying I'm good at it because I do it once in the blue too. But I'm just saying like, test season, that show was raw. And everybody, 
Put a like on this shit if you want Tat Stone to be free. I'm not saying Troy Ash should be out here snitching. If Troy Ash gonna get on the stand and snitch and all that, it's him or me. I said, I got nothing to do with that shit. I, I said, I don't fuck with snitches. I'm not saying Troy Ab gonna snitch. We don't know what's gonna happen. This happened in 2016. They still don't got a trial yet. They ain't point who's gonna take the murder case. It's gonna be him or Troy Ab. So we don't know what's going on. Troy Ab's free, but Tat Stone, if Tat Stone didn't had on them gun charges and all that, he'd be free too. You know what I'm saying? And I wish he was free because the podcast thing would be dip so different right now. Like, I just think, I know Tat Seedon, it would have been crazy. Like, he had too much shit going on. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like Casanova said that he made him come to that fucking event. I kind of blame that shit on fucking Casanova. You should left his ass at home. He told you he didn't want to go. You know what I'm saying? Will your, will your instincts tell you, you you shouldn't go somewhere? You shouldn't go. You know what I'm saying? And he, he should have known all the stuff you were saying on social media about Troy Abb is a garbage rapper. He had no hit songs. He got a, he, he had a ghostwriter on one of his hit songs. You think he's not going to come after you? Troy Abb was that type of nigga. Like, he always, he didn't like Kendrick. He was like, Kendrick was a, a clown rapper or all kinds of weird rapper and shit. Niggas got him on that shit. But the point is, man, I like Troy Abb. I like Tat Stone. So I'm not against any one of them niggas. I'm just mad that situation happened. I wish it never did happen because Tat Stone was that whole year he was out of that whole year he was free. He was killing the shit. He did the biggest interviews. He was killing the shit. Every start everybody's watching his shit. You know what I'm saying? Tat Stone's a funny fucking dude. He, he he's a Brooklyn grimy nigga who will rob you coming down coming out the store. He's just a grimy nigga. So you got to understand that shit. He got that raw in him. And Troy Ab, he got that raw in him too. But it's not like that Tat Stone shit. Like I said, if them doing interviews, they both do good interviews. I like Troy Ab shit. I like could Troy Ab talk about how to get money, how to start this and do this, how to get your house, how to do this. You know, I ain't have these marble floors. I had to go get it. He grind. You know what I'm saying? He independent artist. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect an independent artist who haven't signed up. He, like, Troy Ave had the opportunity to try and sign two or three major deals. And he didn't He didn't take the offer. I don't know the money was too low. Or he didn't want to do it. Because Troy Ave sound like Mace a little bit. He sound like Loon a little bit. And he had that. He, when I first started watching rap, listen to Troy Ave, he, he had that 50 kind of grind type of shit. So it's saying, like, you just needed. He had one hit to go. Like, I'm saying, like, Troy Ave. Had that opportunity. Like, Troy, I've been putting out some dope shit. Like, y'all niggas, I don't know y'all listen to it. You might not agree with me. But Troy, I have, like, he put out that Tupac uh, mistape. That shit was fire. He came out with an album last year. That shit was fire. Came out with an album the year before. That shit was fire. To me, it was dope. I like Troy, Ab shit. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people don't like Troy, Ab. A lot of niggas do listen to Troy, Ab. They just don't, you know, promote him or... Like, shot him out like, yeah, I like Troy Ave. But you niggas, you go to the Bobby shops and shit. Niggas playing Troy Ave albums. They're playing a few songs. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I miss Tat Season. I wish Tat Season was here. Um, if y'all want him to be free, man, put a like on the button, man. And leave a comment and tell me, do you like Troy Ave? Or do you like Tat Stone? Or you wish this shit never happened? And they could have just kept on doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? But Troy Ave almost got killed. He almost got sh he, he got shot at. He got shot in the head. Like there was a lot of shit going on in 2016 for them too, and they had a bad fucking year. And somebody lost their life. Tat Stone might be getting life in jail, and Troy Ave might be doing two to five or ten. You know what I mean? Because New York don't play around with them gun charges. Troy Ave's gonna do time. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's gonna take a while. But he gonna do time. You know what I'm saying? Because you got guns in the car and all that shit, and you shot in the club. You know what I'm saying? You definitely gonna do time. But anyway, man, if you like Tat Stone, man, and you miss Tat Stone podcast, please leave a comment, man. If you miss, if you you like Troy Adams, you listen, listen to his music, leave a comment too. If you think Troy Adams a bitch ass nigga, leave a bitch ass nigga. If you think Tat Stone was stupid for doing that shit, cause he Charlemagne had that nigga in a lock, and Charlemagne had that nigga in the white right path, but he just fucked up that night. Leave a comment. We out of here, man. Troy free. Tat Stone. Troy ass, stay safe. If you snitching out here, B, I might, I might have to start listening to your music. Peace out. One love.